It's like a, a weapon making them think think about what's going on and what you guys are out there. Yeah, I think so because um, I definitely know like it's it's hard when guys are playing like that and and kind of hard to read because like me and Lottie just read off each other and kind of. We don't even know where we're going sometimes. We're just reading. So I think it makes it pretty difficult. Um, but, I mean, we're still trying to kill the penalty. It's just we're, we're looking for opportunities. You guys only play that team twice a year. Were you surprised at how all everything went there, especially in the third period, and then after the game was over? No, because I, I think that, I mean, the, the game, we had a lot to prove from the last game that we played, and we didn't like our effort. Um, so we were we were coming in pretty hot today, uh, looking to to fix that and you know show them how we really play. Does it get anything sure. noticeable that you know you guys know what your next game is, who you guys are playing against? Yeah, we were yeah we're aware. Yeah, we we were aware. We knew that we owed them one. The organization obviously wanted to do a big today for Ed Snyder. Uh, when there's a motion in the building, a motion in the crowd, how much does it play in and give the team a lift out on the ice? Yeah, that was uh, that was awesome. I mean. I, I was thinking to myself on the bench when we were all watching that uh, trip. Like, there's, there's no way we lose this game. You know, like you can just feel it in your body and your, your, the excitement going through the game in the building. It was, it was awesome. As a team, when everybody has everybody else's back. Joel's standing up for, for Cam there. How much of a lift does that give the whole bench? Yeah, that's huge. And I mean, it's not surprising either. Like, uh, guys step up for each other all the time. Um, you know, and Beezer's a guy that always finds himself in those spots. You know, he's a, he's a great teammate, and he's always willing to do that. Um, on the penalty kill, you and Scott Lawton have really good chemistry. There is there a method to the madness in terms of you know who takes the shot and what your plan is? No, uh, I mean we had the two two on ones early, and uh, you know we both decided to shoot, and uh, I, we were laughing like we both owe each other one now because you know I thought I could have passed it to him, and he kind of thought the same thing after we got to the bench, uh, and then ended up working out. This was a chippy game pretty much from start to finish you know a lot of scrums a lot, lot of battles is it almost expected that you think that you know once the buzzer sounds there's going to be something like what happened at the end I, I just you know because like everyone's going to be hard on the puck in those moments like in desperation and um, I'm not sure exactly what happened I, I'm I don't know if it was Huberto kind of went in hot there and uh, you know there's obviously some emotion and frustration so you, you're expecting maybe a little something at the end of the game um, but no that, that those ones are fun yeah,